This video tutorial is designed to help you understand how to set up your gradebook in PowerTeacher Pro. In it, you'll learn how to adjust your class descriptions and names, how to change your display and the order of things that you see in, in PowerTeacher Pro, and how to adjust your final grade calculations. We're going to start with adjusting your class descriptions. To get there, I clicked on Settings and simply clicked on Class Descriptions. You'll notice all of my classes are listed. If I would like to edit something in there, I just click on the arrow and it will expand that course. I can create a custom class name. While it won't change the actual course name in the system, it allows you to see a specific name. You can also add a class description, so if you would like to explain what the class is about, you can do so here. The next piece you can do to set up your gradebook is to change your display settings. What this does is allows you to customize exactly what you see when you are in different views. So if you would like to change how your classes are displayed, um, say you want to order them by section number instead of period and day, you can do that. If you are only using standards grades and don't want to see the traditional grade, you can actually turn this off. This means when you're looking at a gradebook, you won't see the traditional grades listed. You can do sort of the same thing for the standards. You can turn them off on assignments and you can actually turn them off almost entirely in your view. This professional judgment indicator, we'll get into that a little bit more in an upcoming video going over how to use standards. Um, but know that if you want to turn this off, when we talk about it later, under display settings, this is where you would turn that off. The last section just allows you to change how your students are ordered in your gradebook. Now, to get into how to do your grade calculations, we're going to start by clicking on traditional grade calculations here. This is where you can set up the different weights that you want for your course. So for semester one, we're going to click on the little pencil over here to edit it. Right now, it's set for term weighting, meaning the final grade for quarter one and the final grade for quarter two are what are used to calculate the overall score. Right now, it's set so that quarter one only counts for 33% and quarter two counts for 66% of the final calculation of the grade for semester one. If, instead of using term weighting, you would like to use category weighting, you simply click on the drop down here and click on category weighting. I'm going to remove this one for now. So under category weighting, you'll notice it automatically put classwork in there. To continue adding categories, you want to click on the plus sign up here and add category weighting. You'll need to do this a few times. So that you can get all of your categories in there. Notice once I'm done, it gives me an error saying I'm all out of categories. So all of these are weighted equally right now. You'll notice they're weighted at 20%. If you would like to change that, simply adjust the number under the weight and it will automatically adjust all the rest of them. Another way to do your traditional grades is just by total points. All you have to do, click on total points and you're set. Lastly, and we're not going to talk about it ton, a ton right now, but you can click on standards weighting and this allows you to decide how grades are calculated based on standards. Another piece that I would like to point out is this drop low scores up here. If you click on it, you can decide how you want to drop scores. You can drop the lowest overall score and then select how many you would like to drop. You can also change it to category so that in each category you can tell it how many it's going to drop. You'll notice under settings it also goes into standards grade calculations. We're not going to get into that now. Later on we'll have a video focused specifically on how to use standards with PowerTeacher Pro. With this, you should be able to set up your gradebook. In the next video, we'll go over how to create categories and add assignments into your gradebook.